Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your ASUS router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. The first step is to turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into a wall outlet. Connect the other end to the router. Turn on the power by pressing the button. When it's powered on, a light will illuminate. It might take a few minutes for the router to fully power up. Next, plug the cable from your broadband provider or modem into the internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN, and is typically a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you should reset the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the lights on the router to begin flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slim object to press it down. The router will reboot, resetting all the settings to their original factory defaults. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable that came with the router to an Ethernet port. Connect the other end to your computer or laptop's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Awesome! Your router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. Before we get started, I'll show you another way to connect the router in case you don't have an ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an ethernet port. Simply plug in the router to the power adapter and connect the cable from your internet provider. This will turn on the Wi-Fi. If the router is new and hasn't been set up yet, the Wi-Fi network will be named after the router itself. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, wait until it finishes checking the connection type. Next, create a name and password for your Wi-Fi network. Pay attention to the password requirements. Click the Finish button. Wait while the settings are saved. If 
If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network. On the next page, select your internet connection type. You can find this information in the contract with your internet provider. If you don't know your connection type, choose this one. It's the most common option. On this page, you'll need to enter special requirement from your internet provider. This information can also be found in your internet provider contract. If you don't know what to write here, skip this page. In most cases, you don't need to do anything here. On the next page, you don't need to do anything either, but make sure that yes is selected here. Then save the settings. Wait a couple of minutes. And again, if you were connected via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the updated network. Now you need to log in to the router's admin panel again. Restart the router. After restarting, Wait a couple more minutes for all the settings to apply. Now check if your internet is working. Just try googling something. If there is still no internet, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the router's admin panel again. Here you can choose the router's language. Then go to the WAN tab. On this page, click the Mac clone button. Save the settings. And restart the router again. After a couple of minutes, once the router has fully powered on, check again if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.